I have many patients, many children with diabetes type 1 who recover fully and beautifully. Research shows that pancreas has a beautiful ability to regenerate. So in type 1 diabetes, pancreatic cells are attacked in a person, and um, these are the cells in, in isolates of Langergans who produce uh, insulin. And diabetes type 1 usually happens in children at a fairly young age. They're diagnosed and they put on insulin injections, these patients. Research shows that pancreas has a beautiful ability to regenerate. As soon as we heal and seal the gut lining and we stop that flow of immune-triggering proteins into the bloodstream, pancreas regenerates. I have many patients, many children with diabetes type 1 who recover fully and beautifully once you heal and seal the gut lining. So it is not an incurable condition at all, and it's not a life sentence of having insulin injections for the rest of your life. Thank you. Okay. Yes, um, I thought I heard you say that type 1 diabetes can be cured with the GAPS diet. Yes. And if somebody uh, got type 1 diabetes, was diagnosed around age 5, and now they're 30 years older, can it still be cured? The longer the condition goes on, obviously, the more entrenched the problem becomes. I would still give it a shot. Mm -hmm. And one of the healing agents, amazingly, for the pancreas, pancreas regenerates every day. It has a beautiful ability to regenerate. It can rebuild itself beautifully. But one of the uh, best ways, natural ways of regenerating pancreas is insulin. So the person should continue having insulin shots. While on the That's right, diet. while on the diet, continue, and then gradually, as they're getting better, as other symptoms clear, because they've got many other symptoms, um, they should keep checking their blood sugar levels and start reducing the dosage of insulin. The regeneration will happen in there, and uh, they will find that they need less and less of a dose, not as often, perhaps, reduce it to two doses a day, or perhaps even one, and then gradually they will find that they, would, they don't need it that much. Mm -hmm. But the tailing off of insulin can take six months, okay. can take a while, particularly with an adult. Thank you. I have yeah. Hello, and thank you Hello. very much for your presentation. My 10-year-old son has type 1 diabetes. He was uh, diagnosed when he was three. And I'm wondering, what is your success rate with children with diabetes? And how long, on average, or what's the range of time that it might take for them to be on the GAPS diet? And then when cure happens, can they eat a full range of real foods after that, or do they still need to be carbohydrates? Absolutely. A 10-year-old should recover quite quickly. Hmm? A 10-year-old should recover quite quickly. I would imagine a couple of years okay. for a 10-year-old should be all right. The only thing is to watch the medication, to watch the... Uh, uh, insulin injections because you can bring the blood sugar too low. Mm -hmm. We watch it very carefully. So, so they have to test before having the injection, have to test and test because the dose will need to be adjusted. Mm -hmm. And that's what a lot of patients find that they have to keep reducing and reducing the dose and reducing, and eventually they can do without it. Okay, so for somebody who's really doing the whole protocol really well, you have like a 100% success rate? I haven't had too many patients with type 1 diabetes, but they all recovered quite nicely. Some of them still use some insulin injections, but it's probably once a week, once a fortnight, just to be sure. Okay. You know, you not, not that they really need it. 